How's it going? You came to the right place if you want to put one of these guys in your 2014 Mac Mini. This is the late model. Only cost me $70 on eBay. Pretty good condition. It was a total, total uh, risk because I had no idea if this thing worked. All I knew it was this thing powered on. It was not tested as told by the eBay seller. Anyway, long story short, I had no idea what the specs were. And take a look at what's in here. 16 gig of RAM and 3 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i7. This is the top spec out, I believe, which at the time, late 2014, Mac minis were. So this thing works still good and really good for the price, $70. But... I do want to make this thing a bit quicker, and it's going to be by putting one of these guys in. So, I'm going to show you, it does kind of boot up a bit slow. We did upgrade to Monterey, and we're going to restart this, and I want to sh kind of compare, hopefully, if it doesn't take long. I kind of want to show the boot time. It's taken a while to even close. Some apps, as you can see here. There's my shadow with a microphone. And you can see we are trying to load. We are trying to load. And it's just taking a long time. It's going to take a long time. I'll give it 15 more seconds or so. Um, until then, you're going to need one of these things. I have this little kit here. I think you're going to need either a Torx 6 or a Torx 5. I'll tell you a bit when I open this uh, bad boy up. And you're going to need, came in this brown box. I'll link in Amazon. Just trying to open up the box. This is one of the things that you'll need to put in here. So the card's obviously going to go in here. And right here where there's that little connector there is uh, going to go in the Mac Mini. So you can tell it's taking really slow. I'll spare you uh, you guys some time here and um, I'll uh, get into the Mac Mini. Alright, so this is the Mac Mini disconnected. Again, this is the late 2014 model. Just going to flip this over and gently put it down so we don't scratch it. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is first get something like this, one of these little guitar pick looking things. You can also get a flathead screwdriver, and there's like a little crevice in here, and you can just, just like that. Once it gets popped, sorry for the shakiness, you can just take everything apart. One, two, three, these were the things that were putting this thing in here, so... We won't need that little guitar pick anymore. Then what you want to do is, and uh, I do want to show this kit really quickly. Um, by the way, this is not sponsored at all. Um, got this on sale. Contains everything you need to do uh, to take apart electronics and computers. Uh, so anyway, link for that is in the description. I always love a good product. Anyway, uh, this is a, a Torx 6. So... This is what you will need to do to open up one, two, three, four, five screws. So, first we'll just open up this. Okay. So hopefully my screws are in a safe place. I'm just gonna put them, oh gosh. Just gonna put them in my hand and I am just going to put them here so they don't go away. So now we can open this up a little bit. Oh, nope, there's six screws. There's another one here. And 
There we go. Okay, so now that the screws are out, we can take this out and So this cable, you don't want to remove it because I think it connects to this little uh, Wi-Fi chip here. So you just want to put it to the side. All right, so now that we have this opened up and this gently put to the side, we don't want that wire to break. Uh, we have the fan here and right here, I'm not sure if you see it, but this is where we're going to be connecting to. So, right there, that's what we're going to be connecting to. So, let me just adjust this a little bit for you. Okay. So, what you want to do is get your, uh, your SSD card your uh, NVMe, and then put it in this NVMe M2 slot and just plug it in until you hear that click. Then this 3M tape, you are going to take this off. Sorry, let me get a closer look at this, make sure I'm doing it right. Yep, there's a uh, little sticker. Right here, I'll show you a little sticker right here. And that's going to stick onto this piece right here. So, you might want to get alcohol or something to clean this. But I'm just going to go for it here. Hold this for a while. Hold it down for a while. Not too hard. I think everything looks good now. Yeah, I think that's all there is to it. So, that's it. And look, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like it came like this. Looks nice. Okay, so that's all you gotta do. Just gotta put things how they were before. First, let's put the screws back on. Small screw goes here. Remember the two big screws, one on the side. Only one more big screw left here, and the two other uh, small ones can go right there. And now, put the lid on. Obviously the uh, screws go right here, go right here, so make sure the two are here and the one is back there. Make sure they align with the screws. They're gonna serve as like hooks. Press them down, snaps into place. And there we go, everything's back. And uh, let's plug this baby in and uh, let's get her set up. Okay, so let's uh, boot this up. In uh, recovery mode.
And we're just waiting for recovery mode. Two hours later. All right, so now that we are booted into recovery mode, um, I'm sorry, I know this is very small. There's a glare. Um, this is a 4K portable monitor. Things look very clear and amazing on my side, uh, but because of this glare and things are smaller, it's tough to see. So I'll do the best I can. Maybe I'll try to take this out and please excuse my shaky hands. But you'll see right here, restore from time. You'll see right here, restore from time machine, reinstall Mac OS Monterey, uh, Safari, and disk utility. We want to go to disk utility. And again, excuse my shaky hands. Okay, so Mac OS based system. This disk, uh, disk OS3, sorry, I can barely see. This disk OS3 is our, um, it's the drive. We just need to reformat it. And by doing that, I just need to hit erase. I did clone this and back this up, so I won't be needing this. And I will just call this, uh, Excuse me, let me name this something. I do not have three hands. Okay, so I just named this uh, Mac SSD so we know, so we know what's going on. And we are going to format this. APFS erase and done. And we can see right here four hundred and ninety nine dot ninety nine gigabytes. So now we can go to reinstall Mac OS Monterey. I'm really sorry for this glare. Continue. Now it says to set up the installation of Mac OS Monterey. Click continue. It's still loading here, as you can see. Uh, agree to the terms. Agree to the terms. Now it's asking me which disk to pick. And we can see on the left is the Mac SSD. So I'm just going to click on that. And click continue. And now it's installing, and that's pretty much it. So about 2 hours and 18 minutes remaining. Uh, I don't think it'll take that long. But we're just going to sit back and uh, play the waiting game right now. So this booted up flawlessly, set it up flawlessly. And uh, before I get right into it, let's uh, click restart. I want to see how quick it restarts now. The machine is absolutely quiet. I know that my mic stand is in the way, but it's absolutely quiet. We're restarting. We are rebooting. And we're still waiting. And okay, that was a lot quicker than usual. 
and I'm happy about that because usually it would take a good, I don't know, at least five minutes. That took, what, maybe 10 seconds? Nice. So, uh, let's see the password. And everything set up and booted up flawlessly. Uh, we have activity monitor going up here. This is just, we won't worry about that for now. We know that we're getting the best we can get on this thing. Um, wow. Amazing specs. Uh, we'll jump back into that in a bit. Uh, storage. Just wanted to show you this Mac SSD. Yes, we are using this PCIe drive solid state. This is our bootable drive, and if we go back to the overview, we'll see startup disk, Mac SSD. Wow. Anyway, uh, memory 16 gigabytes, 3 gigahertz dual Intel Core i7. Uh, yes, I did get this on eBay for $70. This is a great buy. Um, just sometimes you got to take risks, and uh, yeah, I really lucked out on this one. Anyway... Thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I'd be happy to help. Uh, I'll try to respond to any comment and uh, every comment uh, the best I can. But other than that, until the next one.